All right. I'm super late to doing this, but I did um do a little bit of gathering, right? Like I said, I'm I'm gonna try not to do the or, or apple picking, like unless it's like in the middle of a session. You know, if, if, it, if we get a blood moon towards the end and I'm not worried about triggering another one, maybe I'll just hold off on it, right? But, um, you know, I did some apple picking. I came back to Korok guy, wherever he is, he left now. He apparently changes where he's standing based on the time of the day, which is interesting. But he said that there was something down this well, which is actually kind of interesting when I talked to him over here. So let's go down the well. probably what a bubble frog a new well also oh it's the well lady okay yeah you say you heard voices coming down here so i'm like all right cool yeah she wants us to know when we've investigated wells fascinated by the many old wells across hyrule but new wells are pretty interesting too like this one you come to tell me about the location of more wells sure four of them give you 10 rupees so 40 rupees how many are left? There's still 51! Ah. If only there was some sort of tool for searching things. Yeah, they, they took out the searching tool in this game. That's like one of the biggest changes is you can't, um... You no longer have the Sheikah Slate. Now it's the... I don't even know what it's called. The Pura Pad, I think it is. You think Boulder Hammer break this? Very nice. It's probably where the bubble frog is, right? Maybe there's no bubble frog because it's not a it's not a cave. Yeah, here we go. A royal claymore. I wonder if that would respawn. Probably not. Alright, I'm actually interested in exploring the depths some more. So maybe we'll try to do that. Um so what happened last time, I don't I mean, I'm gonna assume that you watched it a little bit, right? But we explored the depths out here. But apparently the depths, as you can see, kind of mimic the overworld. And I'm guessing that there's, you know, up here I was like, oh, maybe they use lava as ocean or something. No, not really. They, it seems like there's just walls, basically, right? Like, it seems like this is an island. Much like, uh, near Irahams. Yeah, see, they have a, a light route, right? And you can use the light routes as teleports. And then there's the, the shrine above it, which is kind of cool. All right, uh, I said I was gonna investigate this, right? Uh, sure, yeah, we haven't really seen a lot over here. You know there's gotta be tons of shrines and shit, uh, or we could go level up. I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, there's gotta be something over here, right? Okay. I kinda wanna, ooh, we could go down here actually, yeah. Minchi Woods. The problem is I can't see where I'm fucking diving. That's the one thing I can't see when you dive down. Like, I have no clue how close I am to falling and hitting the ground. So I'm not sure how you're supposed to avoid getting hit like that. Where was it again where I found all this stuff? East Gerudo. Where the fuck was it? Where's the one that I always go to to get hearts? Is it this? But there's no teleport. Yeah, no, it's not that. Where's the... Shit, I don't remember. I never remember it, actually. I don't know how you get over here. Oh, you know what it is? I shoot up from below. That's what it is. Yeah, okay, here we go. I remember now. It's been a while since I've done it, that's why. And this is how we get, um... We can actually explore the Hyrule Chasm. I'm actually interested in doing more exploration of chasms, to be honest with you. Like, I like this game's overworld, actually. This is, in my opinion, way, way... Oh, shit. This is, in my opinion, very cool. I, I love it. I would just say that the number one thing I don't like, again, is the control scheme. I just don't like it at all. It's right over here. But where is over here? Oh shit, did I miss it? Oops, I might have fucked up. 
Is this it up here? No. Wait, is it? No. Yeah, no, it's this. Okay. Yeah, I just don't like the control scheme. I wish there was, you know, more sword play. Like, Twilight Princess, I think, was the good balance between, like, too much a la Skyward Sword and too little a la pretty much any other Zelda game, basically. I mean, even Wind Waker had a little bit of sword play and stuff like that. Yeah, basically, if you're crouch walking, they more or less cannot hear you um, until you're right on top of them. But by that point, you can just grab it. I wonder how often they respawn. It might be once a blood moon. Basically, you get three one-ups. Very nice. All right, just wait a bit. Hover across. I gotta do the verdicts and I'm gonna stream in like six or so hours. You know, it depends how much I get done today. I actually kind of woke up at a decent time. You know what I mean? Like usually I wake up at like 2 p.m. on weekends uh, because I stay up late, which is bad. Admittedly, I shouldn't do it because I know I have games I wanna play and shit, but whatever. I mean, let, let's be fair here. I'm Let's be realistic, but there's a lot of games I wanna play this year. I wanna play Dragon's Dogma before Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out. Um, what the hell? Oh shit. So there's a lot of games I do, I, oh my God, I would like to play. All right, that should be good. Uh, let's go back. I guess we could try to, the ability to rewind, right? This is the back, the crystal refinery. Dude, there has to be a better way to do this. There's no way it's this bad. You know, play the whole game with one battery, then what's the point? You know, like, if, if it takes this long to upgrade one battery, maybe you just keep teleporting. Maybe every time you teleport, they restock on, uh, on crystals. Maybe you just have to teleport a bunch. Maybe they don't expect you to spend more than a few minutes in the depths. But think about how much shit there is down there. They really don't expect you to spend more than a few minutes down there. Like, it, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to me. So there must be a better way to do it. There must be someone you could talk to. Okay. A hundred. No regards are required to process it. The mines have run dry. Yeah, okay, anyway. Yeah, I don't know. There there must be a better way to do this that I just don't know about. Then there must be a better way to farm Zonai materials so you can get, uh, like, control items and shit, you know? Again, that's, like, my biggest complaints is the control scheme is kind of lame, and, uh... Oh, shit, I have to go in the dark again. <laughs> control scheme is kind of lame, and, and the fucking... The temperature defense not being split is, is kind of unfortunate. I kind of wish that they had done that. Like, genuinely, if they had, I feel like this would be my favorite Zelda game. And if they brought back some of the old stuff, I feel like that would also be fine. Take them all. Alright, so what if I teleport? Is there, like, a fire I could stand next to or something? I mean, damn, bro, they give you Zonai right here for free. <laughs> Can I just make a fire? Uh, how do you do that? We need some sticks. Is there an easier way? I guess I'll just throw a fire fruit. Doesn't really matter too much. Bearable heat. All right. Wonder if it'll stay lit while I stand here. Maybe, maybe this will work. We could just fast travel through time. Yeah. Oh no, it's not back. All right. Well, I don't know how long it takes for him to process it. I don't know if there's like an easy way to skip. 
So there must be something that you could do that makes it better. Uh, I say, let's start exploring some more of these, right? Why didn't I finish this though? Poplar Hills, where are we actually? Where was the Great Plateau? I think this used to be it, right? Yeah. Wait, it's got depth entrances? Well, we wouldn't know because we haven't been down there yet. Um, I think, what do we need from Hatena? We need something. I don't remember what. I'm trying to think, what else can we do? Let's look for the, uh, the other geoglyphs, I think. That might be good. Since I kind of enjoy looking for those. That way we could get the whole backstory. Although at this point, since I found the first, because they, I think they force you to, and then I found the last couple of ones, it's like, okay, anyway. So now I know the whole story, pretty much. Um, but whatever, it is what it is, right? Nothing you can really do about it. Speaking of which, let me mark down here really quickly. Uh, over here... There's a fuse material. Remember, it's going to be the spike ball. So, basically, that's where I'll go to get, like, good weapons. I don't know if there's, like, a better place to find spike balls, but that's at least one spot that I know it's guaranteed to spawn. I think, like, one or two, which is good. And, I mean, that's that's really what I care about. Yeah, I wish that the temperature was split. You know, like... Obviously, like, I, I would, I, I don't know. I feel like defense should be separate. And then the temperature gear should just have no defense stat. Like, the whole point is to regulate your body heat. As, as weird of a mechanic as that is to put in a Zelda game, like, I understand, like, it's been in Zelda before. Like, you needed the, the Goron tunic, which is weird because Gorons don't wear tunics. So it doesn't even make sense why they have a tunic set up, but whatever. Um, all right, so what have we found? one right here is there one over there no four on the left oh no we found five right one two three four five we found the sword we found the one in the middle we found the crocodile yeah so there's one i think over here yeah there's only two left there's like one over here somewhere and then there's one is it by the squiggly tail no there's like one Oh, okay, I, I marked it. Oh, let's do it then. Yeah, so there's only like a few more left and then we'll solve it. Now, where Impa and uh, the other one will be, I don't know, but that'll be fine. But yeah, no, I think that like, as, as cliche as it is, I feel like if they had a light attack, heavy attack sort of setup, I think that would be really dope. Kind of, I kind of want that. Because Zelda has always kind of had like, near one button combat you know it's kind of almost been tied with kingdom hearts a little bit but the context of what you would use like you know imagine if there was like different ways to use horizontal slash that's why you never really use horizontal slash in zelda games because like at least in my opinion someone's fighting a monster at least in my opinion like horizontal slash is not as helpful because you have to lose lock on and lock on is such a big part of like some of these games disarmed <laughs> oh sorry don't we keep finding you everywhere because what are you made of you're no slouch in combat but you seem so calm about it very mysterious yeah we keep saving our ass Basically, she's around a geoglyph every time. Okay. Uh, okay, so we'll, we'll climb up. I'm assuming it's over here, right? Like on this plateau or something. And I just hopped down too early. But why not? We'll save him. I'm really interested what the next Zelda will be like. If it'll be a little bit more of a return to form. You know, like, I don't mind an open world. I don't mind if they have, like, a little bit of, like, map editing or, or you know, creation and stuff, right? But I would like maybe a little bit more of a return to classic, classical style. Dude, we haven't fought a Wizrobe since I came back to playing this game. 
That's how long it's been. I haven't fought a Wizrobe in months. Not that they're hard. Okay. If it gets too noisy, I'll close the window. Um, it's, it's, as I always say, my room is hot, and so I try not to overheat my room for myself and the stuff in it. I actually finished organizing all my PS3 games, which is kind of nice. Uh, you know, everyone's, the thing about having game racks is that racks are really annoying because every game has to be moved over the amount of new games that you're adding to it, right? So that, that's one reason to not use game racks is that, see, I could use game racks for GameCube. I could use game racks for most, I think, Wii and, and Wii U because I don't have like a lot of, you know, special, we found it right away. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Um, yeah, I would use game racks for a lot of different systems, but like on the Xbox and stuff and PS4 I have like, you know, things with sleeves and stuff and it kind of fucks them up a little bit So that's one reason to not use game racks Obviously bookshelves are just ideal, but you know bookshelves require a lot of room, which I don't have so Sucks I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with all the spare wires and shit I have. I gotta go through all of them and see which ones work and which ones don't. King Raru. We just received word that the last free village in the Gerudo Desert has uh -oh, fallen. Uh-oh, yep. <laughs> At this rate, the Demon King's army will overwhelm us. I understand. Our only hope is for me to defeat the Demon King. I'm the hero. Ravu. The Demon King. He is not someone you can stop by yourself. But you are not alone. You have the Gerudo, Goron, Zora, and Rito leaders, as well as Zelda. And of course, you can count on me. I wonder if she betrays him. Uh, yeah, that, that's his sister. There's something I'd like to show you all. Yeah, this is the room. Okay. Secret stones. He gave secret stones to all four of the races, didn't he? Stand with me. I need all your aid. Yeah, one for each of them. Oh my god. Yeah, you got the shit into the stick. Dude, what is this armor? <laughs> nice. We all gathered here, swear on our lives to serve Robin, the king of might. Yeah, I see the owl design in his mask too. That's actually interesting. It's kind of cool how they related to Ocarina with Rauru in that game. Dude, I'm never going to find the respective Korok seeds on these. Alright, very nice. What else is even out here? I don't think I've really... Oh, is it is it just this? 
Yes. Wow. Never mind. This one was easy. <laughs> and yes, we will need to start doing Korok seeds because I will need upgrades. So. Alright, I guess we can remove this then. Alright. The Lo Lodrum. Lodrum Headland. Dude, where are these things even supposed to be? Oh, I could have mounted it. Shit, I forget about that sometimes. Damn, this is nothing. Alright, well, whatever. Those are like likes, yeah. Okay. They don't eat shields in this game. Ironically, the one game where it would be okay for them to eat shields, this is the game where they have them not eat shields. Whoops, I did not mean to drop that one. This is the one game where like likes eating shields would make sense. Because you can lose, in, in Twilight Princess, you could lose the Ordon shield, actually. And you have to get, like, a shitty shield. So, like, at least for me, I mean, I've never lost it because, you know, you just get the Hylian shield early. You just don't think about it. Oh, god damn it. No, my boulder hammer! That's a tent. I thought it was like a little... I don't know what I thought it was. I thought it was like an animal or something. Well, someone's out here. I just don't know where and what they're doing. And there must be a shrine out here, right? It might be hidden behind some kind of quest or something, but... there, There's... Probably one in, like, reasonably every corner of the game. Here's another Korok seed. So why would they have all this and not have something out here, you know? It doesn't make sense. If it's like the last game, there's 120 of them. You know what would have made sense is bombs take a lot of battery. I think that would have made a lot more sense. Because then you can't spam it. Imagine if using a bomb drained a full battery cell. Like, technically, it means you would always have defense. Because, I don't know, I feel like at least that way, if you get stuck in a puzzle, like that one time when I was in that cave on the other side of the map, like, at least given enough time, I would have been able to blow up everything. But it's not viable in combat anymore, you know what I mean? So, like, if you want to use bombs to cheese enemies, you can no longer do that. I thought the square bomb was one of the coolest shits they ever put in Zelda. I was like, holy shit, a bomb that doesn't roll? That's insane. That's so good. That was, like, one of those life-altering changes in a video game, you know? It's like, oh my god, like, I've been playing Zelda my whole life. And now they do this? Like, damn, man. What the fuck? Well, there's the shrine. We just have to figure out a way to get over there. Because we're going to need some place to rest, is the thing. So maybe I could cut down some trees and bring them over here. Probably going to have to drop them in here log by log, but that's fine. No biggie. 
so the shrine is underground and then that's the nice thing is ascend is such a good fucking power up that ascend is is like you could have shrines underground and just ascend to the surface that is such a crazy good power up that's like one of the best things they've ever put in a game like this i'm actually like really excited to see how else it'll be used because it, it, it's so redefining for like puzzles i don't know yeah i am a little bit excited about it it's pretty fucking dope it's like when you could do uh you can merge with the walls this is not gonna work it's like when you can merge with the walls and uh a link to the or a link between worlds same same energy same thing i fucking love that man that was such a good idea damn it you gotta be careful with that and then we have to make a Korok uh, frond somehow. This is actually a pretty good cutting weapon. Uh, and we know where to find some of these. Right? There's one on that island as well. Going to that island is good. There's, like a very, uh, there's a lot of niche items on that island that we could grab. So I'm not worried about it being badly damaged. Because there's a lot of items we could find. Now we're getting a little bit of frame drop, uh, frame droppage, because the weather's also going at the same time. But yeah, I, I think I played enough now. Like I'm gonna finish this game, obviously, because I like Zelda. Like even I played worse Zelda games than this. I genuinely thought Skyward Sword when it came out was worse, even if it was shorter. I think Skyward Sword is like a 20-hour game, give or take, right? If you try to do some of the stuff. Right, we're already on like, I don't even know, hour 40, hour 50, right? It's not, again, it's not the, the quantity versus quality argument. I just think this is better than Skyward Sword in like every way, right? Like I know apparently a lot of people fucking like the motion controls. Uh, that's news to me. I mean, whatever, sure. I fucking hated those things. There, there's very few games I thought had good motion controls. And I did not think Skyward Sword was one of them, not even close. Again, I think the best ones were either Resident Evil 4 or um, Metroid. I think Metroid did it really well. Alright. Now I have to waste a weapon, unfortunately. Oh no, we could destroy the fused item. Alright, well... It yields a high attack power when it gets wet. So probably what you do is you fuse the water to it, and then it'll break, but it'll soak the weapon, right? Mm. All right, let's use a royal broadsword. This one's not new. This is not working. Is it because we're stuck partially on land, maybe? Yeah, this isn't working the way I thought it would. Why would these be here? Honestly, I feel like I'm overthinking this, right? Like, I feel like we could just crawl through, use Ultra Hand to grab this, and then keep using it to yank ourselves through this. Like, we might start swimming here. Not really, see, just keep doing this. Just bring it as a platform. Why am I doing all this extra shit? <laughs> there you go. We just look for whatever's the highest, and that way we could stand on it when the tide goes down. 
And then we just keep leapfrogging. See? Easy. Uh, this I will just throw a bomb at. Or, or should I? Yeah, whatever. Hi. <laughs> oh no, I'm dead. like the twilight princess had like water combat it wasn't it wasn't like to die for or anything but it was it, you know in 2006 that shit was like revolutionary that was so different compared to like everything else that game is such a weird game because it's like peak nintendo design it feels like a ps3 game almost only thing that it's not a ps3 game in is resolution like it, it was 480p i think it was upscaled only but like that's why the hd remaster man that shit is fire man that's one of my favorite that is my favorite version of the game period actually and the reason why is because it has all the perks of the gamecube version with all the perks of the wii version and none of the motion control what the hell is that wait what oh okay that's just a oh, cap. That is my favorite version of that game for sure just like how wind waker hd only my only complaint about wind waker hd is they didn't bring back the tingle tuner which makes perfect sense with the gamepad they just didn't bother with that that's like my one complaint is that the tingle tuner would have been like such a cool addition to have uh oh it's core is made of wood yeah whatever <laughs> Yeah, there's no way for me to keep this because I, I if I I have a Korok seed, but I'd have to go back to what's his name. Yeah, whatever. I have to go back to uh, I don't know what his name is, the big one. And I'm not doing that. And then I have to come all the way back. And you know this thing is going to respawn. Like, it's not impossible, but I'm going to find better shields anyway. So it's not a huge deal. I'm, yeah, I don't know. Yomizuk Shrine. Alright. I will be breaking this. All that will be helpful, and the ferry is going to come in handy when I face plant myself onto the ground at 30 miles an hour or something. There you go. Alright, perfect. At least the combat shrines in this game are a little more interesting than the ones they had before. Like, at least, you know, there's, there's stealth options, there's all kind of, this is just, get here. Ah, whatever. At least the, the combat shrines are a little bit better in this game. The puzzles are cool because it's not just using one of the basic powers, right? Diamond. Oh, shit. Okay. We got, like, one or two really good uh, combination items. But why can't we skip this? Oh, okay. I was about to say. All right, let's go to Hateno Village since we have a warp now. And I mean, let's be fair here. They they completely outdid themselves by adding in the depths. I mean, that that to me is like where the game kind of went from, all right, it's a game with some stuff in the sky and then, you know, you do most of the stuff on the ground. Like gearing up to go into like explorations on the depths is like one of the coolest ideas I think they put in a Zelda game in a while. So let's go to Hateno Village.
I'm actually very interested in that. It's just that the some the systems are just not very fun. But I'm very interested in like looking around, finding good spots to gear up, and then we could just let the blood moon cycle pretty much. And now we know, you know, we get all these bright bloom seeds. We know exactly what we get them for now. It's actually very nice, to be honest with you. Right, where is all the stores here? Stable. Pasture. The school. Armor shop. General store die shop. All right. We should hit up all the shops. It's been a while since I've been here anyway. They have like a mayor election going or something. I don't really know. I, I kind of didn't pay attention to it back then. Eight villagers. All right. Eight reed supporters. Reed supporters. Oh my god. All right. So there's no armor really. Maybe there'll be armor as part of doing the quest potentially. There you go. We need some rice. Yeah. Since CC Shop shop in a place across the way, Hateno has made a name for itself with fresh fashion. Before that, though, it was a farming community from way back. We're a self sufficient little burg. We eat what we harvest and sell the rest. Uh -huh. Tell you what, you haven't lived until you tried a bottle of fresh milk straight from Hateno pasture. I wraps up the sales pitch. Uh -huh. Sorry for the song and dance, but I got business to run. Uh -huh. How many do I need? I only have five. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Veggies out in the field aren't for sale. Uh, if you're in the market for produce, come see us. Yeah, well, all right. That's all I need then. All right, so we have to wait a little bit. It's not like the worst thing in the world. I guess while we're also doing this, um, let's go back to Lookout Landing. Uh, and we could just dive into this, right? Yeah, I guess we should dick around. Yeah, let's do it, actually. This is going to be the hardest one. <laughs> I mean, I will say this. It feels like the difficulty is a little bit more rounded out in this game. I guess part of that is because, like, you're not running into Lynels right away with, like, super ridiculous weapons. In fact, have we even seen a Lynel yet? I don't even think so. So I think we're kind of lucky in that regard. Ugh. And I guess we'll get that extra heart as well. I actually want to buy this set fully. So I'm going to buy this. Hylian Hood. I must dance. Right. Yes. Uh, let's do shield. Very nice. All right. And then we can't do anything else. Shield is like the one you need to upgrade the least, right? Because if you dodge a lot, and shields don't really take a ton of hits back to back, shield is definitely the one you upgrade last. We'll just keep five, and that should be more than enough for most of the game. It's just in case we find a good one, right? You know, I don't want to have to toss something or whatever. All right, we'll try the depths here. And I wonder if I could upgrade anything. Apparently, we're not done with the well over there. There we go. Okay. I love how the fire looks in this. It's like Wind Waker, but the fire looks really nice in this. I'll say that. It's like Wind Waker, but, you know, like. Very nice. Uh, let's go. What did I miss in that cave then? Maybe there is a, a bubble frog.
<laughs> what is there to miss? Oh, do you ascend? Wait, what does this ascend into? Are we sure? Dude, do they mark wells as completed? And why did I mark this with a star? Oh, maybe we should go look. I have no idea. But did they do they mark wells as completed? I have no idea. Actually, we haven't really looked around any of this in a while, right? Yeah, maybe we should like look around so, like this part of the game a little bit. Although I do kind of want to upgrade this, so maybe... I don't know. What, what am I missing in here, though? It's not a rock. Right? Yeah, I'm right below the um the ladder. This leads under the, the place. See? Right? What other wells have we found? Right? Like by stables and shit. Yeah, I, I don't know. Okay, I, I'm not gonna find it now. I think we can remove this stamp, right? Yeah. Alright, whatever. There must be something that, you know, I'm, I'm not looking at or I'm missing out on. But I don't know what it is. Let's see. Uh, you know what it is? It might be we have to give all the wells to her, and then she'll finally move. That could be it as well. Yeah, I think that's it. So because she's down here, like, the objective for the well is not complete. It's one of those, like, completionist objectives. All right. Uh, Let's see what this star is to the east. Or, I guess it's to the west, yeah. Very nice that they actually have like a centralized hub in this game. I kind of wish there was a great fairy right outside, but I guess that would be a little too much, right? It's, under, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Yeah, we really haven't gone anywhere in a while. Oh shit, shoes. kind of funny. I feel like they're the most intimidating in the 2D Zeldas. Honestly. Bro, are y'all for real? Oh, they're, they are for real. I mean, you kind of want them to attack you so you can get a lot of loot. It's very nice. Oh, it does more damage from behind. Okay. All right. Good to know. So, what was out here? There's no way there's nothing in Giant's Forest. Like, come on. That would be insane. So why did I mark this, then? Man, they just sleeping around like they own the place. Like, damn, motherfucker, pay rent. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, yeah, I remember now. I didn't think. Wait, did we fix this? Yeah, we did. Okay, we figured it out. I, I was like, yeah, maybe I saw this guy and I wasn't sure what to do. All right. So there's definitely got to be something up here, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, we have to, we got to look through some of this. This is probably like early game shit that I just never did. We got carriages and stuff. All right, let's go south first. Believe it or not, I'm going to all these crazy ass areas. Some of the earliest areas in the game are the ones that I did not comb the best. So sure, let, let's look through some of this at least. Maybe we'll find like a shrine or something. Shrine, maybe a weapon, I don't know. We got a monster fort. That could be fun. Let's see. Yeah, what is even up here? I don't even know. <laughs> oh, we did that. There's a geoglyph up there. We did that one? Yeah, is that his head? Yeah, I guess it is. Okay. See, I just think the swimming fatigue thing is a little bit unfortunate because it means you can't swim in Lake Hylia. Like, there's no water combat you can have. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it is with games in 2023. 2024 not having water combat like that when they had other earlier incarnations did that's just like one of those things i'm kind of like dude why, why not that would be dope someone will say it's not realistic i'm like bro look at the franchise you're playing i don't know sure make it so you can only do it if you get the, the zora tunic i don't know man i thought the armor design in twilight princess was fucking peak bro the zora tunic was crazy good looking Made me want to wear that shit the whole game and the gold armor. And the only sad part is that you can't because you take more damage from fire and ice. Very unfortunate. They really have the Zoras have like 500 weaknesses. But you know what? People still like, uh, what's her name? Uh, the one that says she's going to marry Link. <laughs> I don't know what people saw in that one. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what is that thing? Nice and silent. A Hinox hammer. Isn't very sturdy, but it's heavier and can swat a shield away. Alright, we're gonna we'll leave it for now. <laughs> <laughs> he hurts himself. What an idiot. Oh, fuck. Ah! Boy, this is not good. Oh, shit. Ah! God. Fucking slow weapons, man. Oh, it's on fire. Shit. Okay, we got it. Got it. This is only a red one. So this is easy. Really? I'm literally slapping him in the face, dude. I hate that shit. All right, you missed. Carry this, you casual. Let him out. Oh, we just lift it. Okay, we just lift it. Oh. 
Thank you, I'm saved. There's a spirit thing and no one would find me here. Might be wondering how I got oh. here. A fine question to explain, I must tell you about the blood moon. Some nights, no matter, no matter the moon's phase, it rises full and red. Precisely at midnight, the whole sky turns crimson. And then defeated monsters appear again. There you have it, the blood moon. It's my life's work to research this event. Why do the monsters revive? What connects them to the blood moon? Thought if I studied the monster's ecology, I would discover something, but I got too close and here I am. Take this for saving me. I was about to give you an elixir of monster parts, but your pouch is full. Why don't you just take this instead? You know what? Sounds good to me, bro. Tonight is a new moon. The new moon is hesitant to show herself. Perhaps she's shy. Okay. I don't know where we're going to meet this dude. He's probably like all over the place. Getting caught by monsters or some shit. Hylians are only the smartest. Oh, shit. Yo, we got another ball. Here we go. What should I put it on? Do I have another spare spare spear? I don't think so. I I mean I want to put on the royal claymore, and this boulder hammer is probably broken a little bit. Ah, eh, whatever. Fuck. Only plus one. That's so silly. <laughs> Alright, well, I can't carry any more meals, so I guess I could eat. There you go. Baked palm fruit. Alright, we're full. We... We don't need to worry about it. We have infinite food anyway. If all I would need to do is kill a bunch of low-level enemies. The Blood Moon triggers off of, like, nothing being killed anyway, so. Wow, this is awful. Easy. Alright, so there weren't even really that many enemies here. I mean, I guess there were, but we just blew them up. It's probably what you do is you come out over here and you just start throwing explosives. Alright, not bad. Let's see, so this is a place to gear up. Let's go into Giant's Forest. I despaired thinking no one would find me here. This is another Korok thing. Yeah. I'm not really, I don't really understand this. There must be like a body of water somewhere. I'm just gonna mark it. It's not a huge deal. As long as we can carry a bunch of weapons, I think we're fine. And as you can already imagine, we have tons of weapons. We are in no, no danger of anything. So I think I'm good. See, now, when you first start the game, these guys are impossible. Now, we're at such a high level that it doesn't even matter, right? That's the beauty of it. Fine. <laughs> wow, he survived. I'm actually impressed. God damn, bro. Ah, oh, it didn't blow up. It has to fall from higher. It blew up down there. Okay, that's fine. I'll take it. You saw how the game slowed down? The game was like, all right, one thing at a time, motherfucker. Box, box, oops, you did it too much. Idiot. <laughs> now that's fucking funny, man. I love that. That is so funny to me. You dumbass. 
a Moblin horn. Oh, I thought it was like a horn that you blow. Never mind. Don't make me cut your ass down, boy. What do I even get from doing this? Like, nothing. But I think we found a good place to get a, a, a few weapons, so we can mark this. Easy to, easy to loot. Alright. Uh, then we'll do Mount Daphne's. There's a little bit of blight over there. I don't think that's a hole, though. I mean, luckily, running through some of these areas is quick. Unfortunate. What do you have, shock fruit? Yeah, what an asshole. Yeah, that was the first normal Azalfos we fought in the game, okay. Okay, Amazon is sending me notifications. Alright, who are you? Oh. Savory. Fighting's never my thing. How can I ever thank you? Everyone likes money. All right, 20 rupees ain't bad. Oh. We basically went right back to where we were before, before I bought the uh, the headpiece. You need to do some cooking. You're welcome to do my pot. Ah. Sure, I learned going through the caves. Caves are full of valuable ingredients. Think of them as Hyrule's natural treasure chests. Knowing your caves can be a major boon. Mm. <laughs> Versus, there's an opening in the ground north of here that leads into a cave. You break into the ore deposits in there with a the hammer. You could get ore. There's flint for starting fires, rock salt for seasoning your cooking, and luminous stones and gems to sell for high oh. prices. All right, oh. so I wonder what we could use with rock salt. It's actually an interesting, uh, an interesting idea. You think you could put it with some apples or something? Dude, the rusty claymore's already gonna break. That's insane. But I mean, in fairness, it is a rusty claymore, so... That's what I mean. I think the overworld is a little bit more fun to traverse in this game. I think the thing that I'm I'm not a huge, huge fan of, though. Actually, hold on. I think the overworld's a little more fun. I kind of miss having the search function because the search function dead ass would picture something across the map for you. I kind of like that a little bit, but um. Okay, that's fine. There's a cave north of here, he says. Where? The Sage Temple Ruins. It's on the other side of the river? Yeah, I don't know. I might just go back to what I was doing. Well, wait, look, there's something on top of that. I mean, at this point, we have the stats to probably just climb that shit raw. So, you know, we don't have to do anything too crazy. Oh, wait, there it is, I think. Or is it not? Nah, it's just a big boulder, right? That's not an entrance. Yeah, again, like I said, once we get towards the end of the game, I'm just going to look up where everything is. The caves and all that shit. Not now, but like, definitely later. We'll just, we'll just figure it out like that. We'll be able to figure out like, oh, okay, I missed this. I missed that. I don't think I could climb up this, actually. Yeah, it's too, it's too perpendicular. Unfortunately, Link can't do what Samus does, where she hangs under something. 
Yeah, see, once it goes like that, he can't do it. Really nothing over here? I guess what we do is we could just build a bunch of boards. So, this is going to work, of course. Part of it broke off? No, I didn't. Okay. I'm worried for a brief second. Okay, whatever. It's gonna be garbage anyway. Oh no, perfect actually. That's exactly what I need. All right, I don't think there's a cave up here specifically. Uh, I don't know, maybe I went too far north. Or maybe he's talking about something way the fuck out there. Um, I'm going to keep going south. I'm not going to branch out that far. That's what I mean. I, like like every other game I play that's open world, I just appreciate the fact that like I could just totally blow off the main quest. I know that there's some games where if you do that, like you get a bad ending or something. But you know, like I, I do like being able to explore the world at your own time. I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. I just think it needs to be like its own mode. Do you know what I mean? Like there should be a mode for it where it's like, hey, if you take too long, you know, like urgency mode or something. I don't know. Like second playthrough or if you want to play like an iron man or something you know you can get up get up damn it i know you're not dead <laughs> oh what the hell he actually went extinct damn this feels like it's going to be part of a quest or something then We need to kill well maybe we no we do need to kill basic lizolfo so there's gonna be something i'll need to upgrade gone not worried about these dudes maybe at the start of the game this is death i think i have too many hearts now Puzzle pieces. Oh, wait. What? Why is this movable? This is a Korok puzzle. Oh, I see. We make stairs. I see. <laughs> see, I like the core. I like all the puzzles better because the manipulation is cooler. That's nice. I like that. I do kind of wish Rauru was, like, talking to us occasionally through the arm. Maybe not like he has to be there all the time like a lot of Zelda games are. You know, you know how it is. I think it would be cool. Like, at least for story purposes. I'm not saying he has to help out in combat. But just for story purposes, like, 
Yeah, you know, I, I got greedy. I thought I could kill Ganon. I totally couldn't link. You're the only one who can. That sort of thing. I don't know, whatever. And you could like comment on things. I think that would be like interesting because that was one of the coolest parts of Twilight Princess was hearing Midna's, uh, you know, hearing Midna say certain things, watching her character development, right? Going from just using Link as a tool to actually like working with him as a partner. That was actually something that I thought was really cool. You know, again, a long time ago, back in the day. I thought that was actually a really interesting way that they like took the whole like I'm the helpful sidekick and completely changed it into like no I'm here just using you because you're my best hope and it goes from being a tool to like being partners and then she kind of uh she kind of flirts with him and then leaves him very unfortunate that shit had me fucked up when I was a kid I'll never forget beating that game that was such a wonderful experience to have gaming wise, man. I, I genuinely love that game. That is that is my favorite game next to Metroid Prime. I feel like they both have to share that fucking title. There's no way for me to pick one. It's impossible. I cannot pick only one Zelda game to be like super in love with, unfortunately. I don't know, what would my second favorite Zelda be? I don't know. Wind Waker HD, maybe? There we go. See, there's not as many of these. They kind of diversified the portfolio a little bit. Oh, maybe a little bit. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Very nice. There might be some more. I think there was another another one I had to take over, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what my second favorite Zelda game would be. I like Minish Cap. I think Minish Cap is kind of fun. The way they have a very creative world. I like the Oracle games. Like, they're all A-tier games, but I don't know if they're like S-tier, best I've ever played type games. You can't see me? I don't know what to say. Okay. Maybe we'll wait for the rain to let up. the oracle games I've, I've said that before they're good right there, there's not really a zelda game i hate that i've played right like i didn't play like some of the other ones like what was it triforce heroes or stuff um even skyward sword is not a game i hate i just hate the motion control and because it's such a key aspect of the game i just didn't like it but like for example right like i like the overworld i like the you know the story of twilight of skyward sword i just don't like how linear it is it, it feels like you know like everything kind of felt really babyish back in like t the 2010s it was like they were like almost welcoming like a new era of gamers a little bit i don't know it just felt like everything was super easy like a decade ago a little bit over a decade ago you know like i just wasn't a, a huge fan of like how simplified everything felt Right, like yes, you could argue that the, the the cutting was like unique or whatever. Right, it wasn't it wasn't super easy. You know, it requires reaction time or I don't know. I don't really feel like it does, but whatever. Yeah. Eradicated him. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Now what the hell is this gonna be? The ancient tree stump. Can you go away, please? I hate that noise, by the way. Sounds like a like like is down here too. Yeah. Hmm. 
I don't know. Uh, I guess I guess I would say Wind Waker. Even though I don't like that Wind Waker feels kind of short. I think Wind Waker has like a little bit of everything, right? It's got sword play, it's got magic power, it's got all the classic items, right? Yeah, I think Wind Waker would be my second favorite. After that, I think Majora would probably be third, right? Maybe Minish Cap fourth, A Link to the Past fifth, and then the Oracle series sixth. And these are, the a lot of these are really fucking close, by the way. Like, basically, like, if Twilight Princess was a 100, I would say that, like, Wind Waker is like a 93, 95, maybe. Like, a ni let's say 94, fuck it, right? You gonna show your eye, bro? Oh, okay, that's exactly how you heard it. So used to fighting its elemental cousins. I totally forgot that this is what it's like. Yeah. Looks like a dead space monster, honestly. Traveler's Shield. Durability up. I mean, hey, it's better than this. Oh, no, this also has... What does this have? I have no idea. Goodbye. And in fairness, like, as much as I love Zelda games, the first Zelda game I played for the channel was Skyward Sword, right? Like, that was the whole point. I was like, oh, you know, I'll play a Zelda game. I didn't really play any Nintendo games prior to that. I played that shit late, I think. I think I played it in 2012. Because I knew I wasn't going to like the motion controls. I mean, surprise, I didn't. But that's why I like the new version of it. I like that you could use the thumbstick. I actually think that makes a lot more sense. That is a, a very unique design for it. Probably the best it's going to get. If you don't like wiggling your fucking arms around all day. There it is. Got it. That should be enough, right? You just have to hit it once. <laughs> Apparently that's it. It's just a big stump that has a cave in it at the same time. God damn diamond, that must be really rare. Okay. Wonder what you're supposed to do here. I always press this wrong. What does this lead to? They wouldn't let you ascend into water, would they? That would be kind of fucked a little bit. I, I actually think about that. Uh, they do. The game handles it. And you know what? That's fine. Yeah. It, it takes you to the surface, though, which makes sense. So, All right, not bad. I actually like how they handle that. That actually makes a lot of sense. Okay. Very nice. What else do we have? Mount Daphnis. What is this? Oh, let's go this way. It's like a, is it a Colosseum or something? I think it is. Alright. Yeah, I think so. Okay, that's fine. Like I said, dude, we're going over this with a fine tooth comb because we haven't really been here. In fact, I know we haven't been here. Then we'll go hit up... Actually, what do we want to do next? I'm going to go see if I can upgrade the hood to, like, level 2. 
that's why I'm, that's why I'm, it's also good to fight low level enemies so that way you get upgrades you get upgrade materials because now i'm fighting high level enemies what do you say actually oh nothing okay it's actually good to fight low level enemies from time to time Yeah, we don't have any good bows, unfortunately. I think the sky is going to be really late game, too. Oh, we're going to need better weapons for this. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Ow, what the shit? Shit, return fire, motherfuckers. Damn. Thirsty bastards. I gotta find a good place to farm out, uh... What are they called? Are you supposed to get on top of him? Oh, that just makes you clip through him, by the way. It's so dumb, but whatever. Anyway. Very nice. Like, I know I'm supposed to hit the thing, but I gotta be able to climb up on him. I guess I gotta wait for him to try to get his arms back. That was all the time I had to get to climb on top. I'm getting on I'm getting on this cliff, bro. This this is not even difficult. I just can't climb on you can't climb vertically or horizontally, I guess, as it would be. Which makes no sense, but whatever. Oh my god, and of course it's raining. Wait, can you ascend onto the platforms? Let's see. Ow. Get up, get up! Can you ascend? Oh, you can. I think. Hold on. It's turning blue! I can't get the prompt! It turns blue, but I can't get it. <laughs> Let's try the other side. Yeah, we're, we're dicking around right now. This is not a serious fight. We're just having a fun time. There we go. Got it. Unfortunate. Hold the pose long enough. God damn! We're going through them! 
What? Oh no! Fuck! I guess we could maybe put something good on this, right? Or something. I mean, what weapons do I even have? Fire breath sword, a reaper. See, I don't have anything good. You have to have like good base weapons in this game. And sadly, I really do not. Like the only thing I think is we break the boulder off of this, but then we're not gonna have like another hammer. Nah, whatever. <sighs> It's a free plus 13, so. So now I know how to kill that other one. There was one by the, the tower I couldn't fix for like forever. So now we know how to get into that tower. Well, we already got it. But now I know how to kill the Talos over there as well. So let's mark this because I guess if you could kill it easily, which in fairness you can, right? Like there's a Talos over here. Gotta find a place where you could farm bomb flowers, basically. Easily. And that should be the number one objective. again yeah we're near the stable okay so we we've kind of been over here before yeah so we, we need to go help this other guy down here which i guess we could do i want to see what's in um i want to see what's over here is this on the great plateau no it's not so it should be totally accessible i mean we were on the great plateau we actually oh maybe the great plateau is a good place to like gear up yeah i gotta i gotta try that then Let's roll on over, pop on in, see. Oh, okay, well, you know, there's there's black Boca blends, there's other things like that, because before we were kind of on like a sneaking mission. I think uh, now we could try it and see if like, you know, and also the Yiga clans there. There was like some pretty tough enemies. Like I'm not where I want to be hearts wise, but you know, I, I feel like at this point, we definitely have enough gear and weapons to really like kind of raid it. We can maybe find like a couple shrines up there or something that could also be good as well. Cause did we find any shrines up there? No, we did not. No, we found one. There's gotta be something on Mount Hylia, so. <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's one of the dragons? Oh my god, should we try this? This thing is gonna super kill me. At least you could teleport out. So yeah, I guess we could we could try it. There's some Boca blends. I, I do need to kill them. Yeah, I don't I don't know how this is gonna go. Fucking dragons are in this game now. I'm pretty sure this was a boss in the original Zelda. It's actually kind of interesting. They never remade like that Zelda game either. You can't fuse to this now. Well, that's unfortunate. Thunder Gleok. Get up, get up, get up. Oh shit. 
I forgot. You get zapped in this game. I mean, I didn't take any damage, apparently. Oh, this is the worst type of enemy to fight. That did nothing to it. Yeah, I don't I don't think attacking from the ground is gonna work. I gotta climb up. Oh, you know what? We can ascend. Yeah. Not that one. <laughs> You know, have to rodeo it. Yo, could you imagine Link rodeos this thing? Stop, man. Don't, dude. Samus would blast this shit, dude. Stop. You're not Samus. You're not that nice, dude. Oh, shit. That's a lot of hearts. Okay, well, it's doable. It's just not going to be fun. The fucking. Oh, dude, this fucking ascend, dude. I swear to God. I 
I just want to do. I yeah, that's exactly what you do. So, I have a lot of resources. You have to disable all three heads and make sure they land. It's easy to disable all three heads and hands. That's exactly what you do. Let me try to get in the air. There's an air freeze in this fight, but it's not that. That's not one in the air. Or I'm hitting one around as possible. So you can damage that. It's not even though. I'm going to damage them all individually. Oh, my fucking bow's on. I'm not sure. See, I'm not doing this fight. I'm just using resources on the bows. You can leave the bows are still in your eyes. Some bows will round on me. I'm on two. Dude, get this. I'm going to start striking Uh, what's next? The fucking Alright, I can do this. Let's do this. I'll get a push me. Let's just get a little bit of 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 Okay, let me reach him. Wait, he's not going to use the bomb. I'm not going to use the bomb. Okay, I'm not going to use the bomb. Okay, perfect. Fuck, I'm going to use the bomb. Dude, this guy's going to find him. Dude, come on, dude. Dude, come on. Oh my god, he can't stand up. Dude, this is fucking annoying. He can't stand up. He's blowing down. Oh, I'm going to leave more food. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave now. This is it, my last bomb. That was pretty bad. Yeah, I might have to redo this. It, it shouldn't be too bad. Like, phase one is lasers. Phase two is like... Oh, shit. Oh, I missed. Very nice. Yeah, see, it's broken. I just don't have enough. <laughs> yeah, all right, so I could kill this thing. I just have to reload because, like, I, I don't have enough stuff to do it. All right, I can kill it. As as awful as that was, like, ah, uh, shit, I might just cut most of that out. I could kill it. Once we get to phase three, that's when we need the, the strong bows. So, like, because I don't have a lot of bows, because I primarily focused on getting other stuff, we could kill this. Yeah, definitely. All right, but for phase one, we only equip that when we're ready. Yes, yeah, so we have phases. No, it's fucking loaded, man. That's ridiculous. Come on. You immediately fucking want to grab the wall, dude. That's why I wish grab was like a button you had to push instead of just walking up to something. Ugh, man.
Okay, so we can hit one. We can't hit multiple. Such an asshole, man. buff now even though it's a little bit uh you know what let's eat this first i guess we could also change clothes right because this will give me one more attack up yeah i'll get attack up level three what i was doing <laughs> that, that's basically what we have to do i don't know like and then in the final phase after everything we have to uh hit all three heads that's probably when we need to use the most bomb arrows let's see uh then we have something of rubber yeah but it's not really upgraded No, I don't think it's worth it yet. Maybe it is, I don't know. got his head back. Hey, I picked the wrong element to fight first as well. Like, lightning is probably the hardest one for me to fight at this point. Look at him clipping into the fucking wall. What an asshole. Is he gonna land? Okay. Shit. Stop, dude, the fucking bullshit is the worst part, man. It's not down. I thought he downed two heads. we eat the other food even though it's a little bit of a waste 
So pretty much from here on out, I have to make attack food. Like once you have a ton of healing, like what half of this shit is just not gonna do anything. I, I have to make attack food because I'm gonna run out of attack. So I guess we eat this even though it's a waste. So he's just above 50% life, somehow. <laughs> Dude, that's, the, that's what pisses me off more than anything. The fucking CC is just a nightmare. Dude, get up. Seven. I feel like this is better though. Oh no, here we go. What about this? All right, phase three, maybe. the slightest way that sucks okay well that's again food is not a big deal i'm not really worried about that we have tons of shit to drink and heal ourselves with so wait what i didn't pick it up again again healing isn't the problem the problem is running out of the necessary ranged attacks so i'm not worried about healing in the slightest See, sometimes he clips through stuff, so it gets weird because, like, he's holding angles. He, wow, wow, okay, he's holding angles that he really shouldn't. Stop. 
can't get up. He, he can just keep pushing you down infinitely. Look where I am. I can't. I cannot stand up. I can't move. He's any. If I take a step forward, he's gonna knock me down again. I cannot stand up. Oh my god, this is insanity. I'm. I'm not doing another one of these until the fucking end game, dude. He's leaving. I probably need one more cycle, maybe two. <laughs> I don't even know if I should make a save here, honestly. Fuck me, man. He takes a ton of damage from the impact. Oh shit, we're gonna kill him. Oh, that's how you win this fight. You keep him high so when he falls, he hurts himself a fuck ton. Okay, that's the last thing I learned about this fight. And now we're gonna win, because I'm gonna buff and I'm gonna give him the barbarian armor. Would you believe that shit? That's what you have to do to beat this fight. You have to get as high up as possible. It makes it harder to dodge. I guess that's the trade-off, right? Like, I guess what you do is you soften them up, then you go up, and then you try to drop them from high up. Well, let's win first before I start saying I'm fucking good at this game. Done. We killed him. I cannot believe it. That was hard. That was genuinely one of the hardest things I think we've done in the game. Glee Rock Thunderhorn. Glee Rock or Glee Ock Wing. That's it. There you go. That was one of the hardest things I think we've done in the game. I don't know if we're gonna top that one. I wonder if they respawn. Like you have, you have to gear up before you do this. That's hard, man. But at least now we know that it's, it's feasible to kill them. It's just gonna take a lot of resources. Like I use like 60 arrows, all of my good bows, and what, a bunch of food. I guess the food doesn't really matter that much, right? Damn, that was, that was something. I'll say that much. All right. Uh, where was the last one again? I think it was like, where, wait, where was it actually? I forget. The last uh, other thing. Let's go over here. I think it's like over here somewhere actually. So let's shoot up. That was hard. But I'm glad I reset, because resetting after learning how the fight works made it a lot easier. See, that time, that attempt was only about 10 minutes, I think, right? Because the first attempt was about 30 minutes, which I don't... I, I probably should write down that I should probably fast forward it a bit, but I'll probably forget, uh, so please forgive me. Oh, shit, you know, Bo. I'm waiting for you. Let's, oh, because I came back to Elden. That's why. Okay. So as long as you're in Elden, this guy comes with you. The, the minute you leave Elden, he leaves. Alright, well obviously we don't need to run around with our super weapons equipped. Now we can go back to shitty weapons and shitty armor. <laughs> Wow, he even helps you in the sky? Are you serious? Yeah, if it's in Elden, 
This is his home. <laughs> what is he doing? I don't even know where we're under attack from. Oh, look, he's an idiot. I mean, if there's anything I'm going to do in Elden, I should do it while he's with me, right? But I mean, what I came up here for was to look at the, the thing. Uh, let's see, how do you do this filter? Tears of the Kingdom. There you go. Can I zoom in? Should be one, like, it looks like a Sheikah slate. Should be one right... Should be right below me somehow all right like right around here should be plain trill be plain there it is ah uh, are we going away from where print? No. What the fuck? All right, it's it's weird. Hmm? <laughs> He's glitched. He's super fucked up. He doesn't know what to do. Even though I'm I'm going towards her, I'm going back to the ground. Oh my god, I'm going back. Wow, you're you're kind of lame, Link. We're I'm here to save Zelda, and you're just skydiving. What an asshole you are. Surprised there's no crow enemies in this game now that I think about it. Yeah, yeah maybe the Gleox do respawn. I thought they were like world bosses that only you only fight once. I guess they they show up multiple times. It was it was the boss in Twilight Princess Glee Rock. I don't remember the name of the boss in the the, the sky area, which is funny because. Then immediately after, you had Skyward Sword, and Minish Cap already established people living in the sky. So that's been a part of Zelda lore for a long time, is people living in the sky. You know, it's it's like a, it's actually interesting how that's been like a, a part of Zelda lore forever. It's been in multiple games before Skyward Sword. There you go. Alright, well this is the last tier. Oh, I never took a, the barbarian armor off. Oops. It is quite an interesting device. This is definitely not from this era. That said, I believe there may be a way to get the travel functionality working here. I'd like to tinker with it a bit. Would it be okay if I borrow it? Yes, whatever you need. I really appreciate your help. Then I'll hold on to it. So you really believe my story? That I came from the future? I never doubted you for a moment. Minoru, do you know of a way we could help to return Zelda back to her time? I suspect it was the power of your secret stone that allowed you to travel through time. To put it simply, secret stones amplify the power their owners possess. I am able to separate my spirit from my body. What? Raru can repel or destroy evil with his power of light. And Sonia, she can control time. As for you, I can sense both 
Light and time powers. Mm. But your secret stone seems to amplify your time power. Time power? Ultimately, the secret stone only amplifies your power. It doesn't suddenly grant you mastery and control. That's still up to you. That means, if you don't already know how to get yourself home... You just have to figure it out. There are stories about the secret stones and a forbidden act called draconification. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. <gasps> Interesting. Another way to reach the future, though not a very quick one. So you think these stories could hint at a solution to our dilemma? And that's what she ends up doing. Yes. But there is still more to those tales. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. That is why it is forbidden. I thought maybe this could lead to a solution. Some way to transcend time. But if you have to sacrifice your heart and mind, sacrifice what makes you, you. I'm sorry. I wish I could help more. <laughs> oh, back where we started. There's still hope. I think the answer, the answer to this problem lies in study and learning more about the nature of your power. I'm sure Sonya would be happy to help you. Okay. So I wonder what ex oh, she swallows it, I guess. But where does she swallow it? So that's why we have to find her because she takes the master sword and wherever she takes it, that's where she is as well. All right, very nice. Well, that's all of them. So maybe we could talk to Impa now. Maybe the last couple of ones are granted by progress. Yeah, that's not good. That's her. And the master sword's in her head? No, don't cry. No, I feel terrible, man. So we know where Zelda is. We found her. Holy shit. <laughs> Drops on a Kala. Okay. Well, I think we know where we're going next.